Hello, new wave of British heavy metal.com here. Today it's the 8th of February 2022. Before we get into the video, if I can always, as usual, make the opening request for a favour, and that's if you would please subscribe to the channel. That'd be excellent. Every subscriber helps, I'd appreciate that. Okie dokie, something a little bit different today, but excellent at the same time. Villages of Ionina City and their album Age of Aquarius. Now, I'd, I'd not heard of this band before until about 10 days ago when, when I um, heard a track off, off this album. Instantly liked it, just had to get it and, and did. And I'm so pleased because it's marvellous. Um, the, the villages of Ionina City are from Greece. You can hear that in the music uh, as, as well, that, that sort of like folksy Greek influence. And th this album, Age of Aquarius, I believe, is their second. And uh, how can I try and describe it to you? It, it's a sort of a re really heady mashup of various different styles. It, 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 it's heavy. Make no mistake about that. There's, there's some really helpy, uh, heavy, thumping, thudding riffs going on here. It's fuzzy. It's trippy. It's got throbbing bass lines and, and all that traditional Greek influence that runs through it as well. And um, for reasons best known to themselves, that there's even bagpipes on here on, on occasion, right? Bagpipes on a sort of a heavy, progressive, spacey rock album. Can't remember the last time I heard that, or even if I have at all. If you have, let me know. Um, but overall, it, it, it really is such an enthralling listen. It's heavy, it's progressive, it's folksy, atmospheric, spacey, and quite hypnotic as well, all, all at the same time. Um, if I'm trying to think of something to, to give you some idea, uh, if, if Hawkwind, for example, um, went, went back to the early 70s and revisited In Search of Space, it, it might sound something like this. Think also bits of bands like Monster Magnet, some classic Jethro Tull, some Gong, Steve Hillage and, and whatnot. That, that gives you probably some idea of, of what the villages are all about and what this album sounds like. Overall, quite distinctive, very addictive. I mean, I've, I've, I've had this about 10 days now and I've listened to it at least once a day and will continue to do so for quite a while yet. I'm sure it's that good. It, it, it's the kind of thing that you fire up and you, you, you lie down on the sofa with the headphones on and you play it loud and drift off. Marvellous, marvellous stuff. Sometimes the songs start off as a bit slow burners and then gradually build up and explode and break out and sometimes they're, they're quite in your face from the off and all, all that proggy heavy spaciness with with that um, thread of Greek ethnic influence throughout with clarinets and bagpipes although you know bagpipes aren't really traditional Greek any, but you, you know what I'm saying it, it's great and it, it runs for around about 65 minutes overall and uh, whilst that might sound like a long time and if you're going to be a bit picky about it, arguably some of the lot songs have a, a, a slightly overlong instrumental play out in parts. It doesn't outstay its welcome and those extended outros do fly by and just, just add to the continuing atmosphericness. Is that a word? Well, it is now of, of the whole thing. Take like Father, Father Son, for example, that, that grabs straight from the off. And has got all those elements in it. it. It's heavy. It's got the big riffs. It's hypnotic. It's spacey throughout. As are indeed all, all, all the songs here, uh, particularly part five and uh, Millennium Blues, which which kind of tricks you at first because you think you're getting into a sort of a m melodic bluesy rocker, and then it, it it breaks out into some soaring atmospheric affair. Quite quite distinctive. Quite different. And at first, when you listen to it at first, you might think that this album's a little bit, little bit basic and repetitive, but it's not. It really isn't. The more you listen to it, the more your ears get to, to hear what, what, what's really going on. And whilst it, it does seem simple, there's quite a lot of subtlety and, and variation going on here as well. So in my opinion, the villages of Ionina City here with Age of Aquarius have a quite superb album which is which is captivating from start to finish and you know building in all, all those different influences of hard heavy progressive folksy stuff highly recommended listen uh, do, do check it out as usual I'll 
put a link in the description box underneath the video to the album on Amazon if you want to go and check it out in you know various formats. I, I, I get the CD as always, but you know if, if you fancy streaming or whatever, it is you know it's there, it's there as well. But wasting no time. Brilliant, brilliant album. Quite different, quite distinctive, quite excellent. Do check it out. Link in the description below. And as always, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. And take care.